Alright, so this is going to be a tutorial for level 4 of the Rep Trigger speedrun. This level has gotten kind of convoluted with some recent discoveries, and it's not completely obvious what's going on with a lot of those skips. So I figured making a video kind of explaining what's going on would probably be a good idea. So there's six boss fights in this level, and three of them, as far as I know, cannot be skipped. Um, they may be in the future, but as of right now, I just don't know how to. So this is the first boss. You can't... There's no known way to skip this guy yet. So just fight him normally. Use rough to shoot him. And... You may find that you run out of ammo. There's two things you can do in this case. You can hit this box to get more ammo. Which... I I usually don't do, because not only do you have to go back and hit the box, but sometimes the boss can hit the box. And if the boss hits the box early on in the fight, the ammo will despawn. So you may, you know, try and go back to get ammo, and there may just not be any ammo there. So if I run out of ammo for that first boss, I use the genetic powers as werewolf. Now you do need to restock before the fifth boss, and you can do that right here. I usually don't because of the Tickle boxes. Uh, I find it just kind of annoying to restock there. So instead I just continue for now. In this room you have to kill all the enemies, including the bombs. The bombs have to be destroyed. Uh, just jump over them, that'll activate their hitbox while still leaving you a safe distance. There's a very tiny skip you can, in theory, do. When you activate the last, when the last piglet teleports, it activates a cutscene that opens that door. So what you can do, I'm not going to show the skip because it's too difficult and inconsistent. But, so what you would do is you would... Uh, drop the piglet like that, and as he's going into the teleporter, the final piglet of three. As he's going into the teleporter, you would land on that elevator so that the door opening cutscene and the elevator cutscene will be playing at the same time. And the reason that that is inconsistent and not worth going for is if you are above one of these pits while the, cut, the door cutscene starts you're immediately going to fall down and if you fall down it will instantly kill you and not only is that bad because lives are pretty important in this game and especially in this level and a few of the levels that follow it but if you die here it sends you all the way back to the start of the level you won't have to fight the first boss again but it still is a bit of a long walk and see how quickly you can just skip that door cutscene. It really isn't worth potentially losing the entire run for what is probably half a second of time saved, if that. So this is where I usually restock. You really don't have to restock for quite a bit in the rest of the level. So if you didn't want to restock there, you don't have to. Um, boss here is going to recommend we buy a more powerful weapon. But I actually don't have enough tokens to buy the next weapon, the shotgun. But even if I did, I would not recommend buying the shotgun. Not in this level. Not ever. Because anytime you're using the gun, it's because enemies are floating. And you need that distance. Like, you literally need that distance. The shotgun does not have that distance. So... If you have the shotgun, not only are you just not going to be using it because you need the transfixer, but also that's going to make every ammo box in the entire game have the possibility to have shotgun ammo. And I believe that's even if you don't need it. I might be wrong on that. But, yeah, so it just adds more RNG to the run and is not really a useful weapon. So I would not recommend buying the shotgun. If you want to buy armor at some points, I could see that being useful, but 
you really don't want to bother with any of the other weapons especially because if you go the current route you only unlock the ability to buy like two or three weapons and they're not particularly useful so this is where the second boss is and there's two ways to skip him i'm only going to show one way the faster way because it's the non-obvious way the other way if you watch a video you can kind of understand how to do it just from that but this faster way does involve a death so if you want to avoid a death save some lives uh, i would recommend going for the other way but this way we're gonna jump over the pit into the spawn trigger so that we die while that cutscene's playing and that's gonna spawn us in the middle of the boss spawning platform but as soon as we respawn we want to start moving forward because if we stand still, the boss will respawn. Moving forward makes sure that the boss does not spawn. And that skips the fight. The other way is slower because you would have to watch the entire boss spawning in cutscene. And then skip the fight while the fight's going on. So it it's slower to do it that way, but it is a bit safer. So this elevator right here is going to take us to the third boss fight but the third boss fight is another we can skip and what's interesting is it's the first armageddon fight in the game and whenever you beat armageddon you get a new genetic power right now we have moonshot and this armageddon fight will give us thunder if you skip any armageddon fights in the game which you can skip most of them you will not get that genetic power, and you never will. The game will never give it to you. You never need any of them, except sometimes the Moonshot can be useful, and you need Earthquake in for one part in the level you get it. So, it, it's never going to break your game to skip an Armageddon fight. It's just very interesting how that works to me. So, for this... Thing right here we're gonna jump and ledge grab on top of it and we're gonna jump over this wall I use a single jump because if I were to double jump I would take a very small bit of fall damage and it would kind of halt werewolf for like half a second so now this is where things get really complicated in this level so this path over here where these tokens are leading, that's to the end of the level. But we have skipped some very important checkpoints that the game now thinks that we haven't beaten the level. We've skipped some stuff, so it's not going to let us progress. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to go backwards and hit those checkpoints, and then we're going to come back and finish the level. We, but we're not ever going back to the third fight, so we still have skipped the third fight. We've skipped the cutscenes involving the third fight and the third fight in general. So I'm fairly certain it still saves time to skip the third fight. And then if we look over here, where these tokens and that piglot is leading, that is to the fifth boss fight. Usually we would be coming from the other side if we were doing the level casually. The fifth boss fight also will not load because we still have skipped some level triggers that make the rest of the level work. So over there, where the fourth boss fight is, that's actually where we're going. We're going to jump on this gray thing, and then we're going to jump over here, hit that checkpoint, and die, and that'll warp us over to here. Now you want to land, you want to aim towards the side that that elevator is on when you die if you don't touch that side and you touch like this side or you just don't make it uh you will spawn back over there and again lives are super important for this level and the few levels after it so you don't want to waste any lives if you can help it and then we're going to do another death abuse to skip the fourth fight in a very similar way to the second fight but here we don't have to move forward. We can stand here and the fight won't spawn. Um, but obviously it's faster just to move forward anyway. So then we're going to jump down here. And this 
is where it gets really convoluted. It's not difficult. I actually think this is easier than what they want you to do casually. But it's just complicated and kind of confusing what to do. So this door over here is going to be the next area that they want us to go. So if we go over here, the door will open. And there's some enemies. And then up there, there's some laser gates. Some cutscenes will play. You'll have to save some pig lots. But instead of there being three, there's six. And they're very annoying to deal with. They're, it's very inconsistent with sometimes they'll follow you really well. So you can just get them in super quickly. Sometimes they just won't follow you at all. And you'll have to go back and forth and get all of them. It's very inconsistent. I sometimes can lose upwards of 20 seconds just from this part alone. But we are going to skip this entire part. And it's going to seem like it's slower to do what I'm about to do. But I timed it. Doing this room in my current PB took me two minutes. I time doing the skip, and the skip takes one minute to do. So, I didn't get this room perfectly in my run. I lost probably about 20 seconds. So, it probably saves somewhere from 20 seconds to a minute, depending on how piglots would have went in your PB, and some cycles that I'll talk about later. But basically, what we're doing is we want these doors to be open. If we go into that room the doors will close and we do not want them to close we need them to be open because i don't know if you can see but in that back part that's the back of that building and those doors are open so what basically what we're going to do is we're going to go all the way around into that room because the game is only looking for two things not whether we've saved all the pig lots whether we've killed all these enemies whether we've ridden the elevators what it's looking for is, are these doors open, and have we entered the end of the room? So, as long as we have that, the rest of the level will work. So, instead of going through that room, we're going to go all the way around to the back of the room. And we're going to start that by going on this elevator. Do not go on the fourth boss platform. I'm pretty sure the fourth boss will spawn. Instead, what we're going to do... Also, don't go on that elevator. That will lead you to the third boss, which we've already skipped. So, the third boss would spawn. We're going to jump on here, and we're going to... Oh, that one's supposed to die. Okay, so... Try to go more towards the back of it, I think. Like, more towards back here. Oh, my gosh. If I game over, I swear. This is, like, my fifth time trying to record this. There we go. So that's what you want to do. Obviously, if, if I were doing a real run, I'd be freaking out with how many lives I have. Um, but since it's just a tutorial, it doesn't matter. We're going back through the level. We get all the way to here. And this is where the cycles are important, because it depends... Kind of how much time you can save depends on what cycles you get. I'm not going to risk dying, but usually I would jump straight down to there. That way, as soon as I land, I can just run into the room, run back, and then catch that cycle as it's going back. Uh, I didn't, you know, obviously I didn't demonstrate that because I didn't jump down. But that's kind of what you're looking for. That's kind of where some of the time variation I was talking about with the the same 20 seconds to a minute that's part these cycles are part of where that comes from so then we're gonna continue going which if we did the room we'd have to be going back over here anyway so really to judge how much time it saves is just judging how long does it take to go all the way around we don't have to time coming back this way but if the fifth boss spawns, that means you did set up the checkpoint right and that the rest of the level will work. The fifth boss can be a little annoying, but he seems to have less health than the first boss. Or maybe it's just easier to line up with him. Because I don't really ever find myself uh, running out of ammo during that fight like I do 
sometimes with the first fight. And there's kind of one more, like, variable thing in this level, and that's these cycles right here. I don't know exactly how to get a good cycle, but sometimes you'll come and they'll just be starting to pop up in the perfect order that you need. But sometimes they'll be in the reverse order and you'll have to wait that entire cycle out. So now there's a couple fights here that are pretty easy to skip. We're going to go to this door over here and then grab onto the ledge and jump through the door. Very, very easy skip. You do need to restock before the uh, final boss of this level. You can restock there, but again, with the Tikal boxes, uh, I usually don't bother. Now, they want you to teleport the Piglots here, but we can skip it. Uh, jump through these laser gates so you don't have to wait out the cycles, and so you don't have to deal with stun animations. And then we're going to skip this part exactly how we skipped that other fight. you got to be in the middle of the door. We're going to just jump through this door. That'll load in this fight, and then we'll skip the fight by jumping through this door. There's some health here, and you can restock there. I usually don't restock there. Um, sometimes I'll heal there, but I usually don't restock. And we got some enemies here. I recommend taking this guy out with ground pounds. It takes three ground pounds to kill him. Uh, because that guy shooting you can really mess up any combos you try and do. But then since you're only fighting him left, uh, use all the combos you want. And then this is where I usually restock. Right before I hit this button, just come over here, grab this ammo, and then hit this button. And that opens the bridge to the final boss of this level, which is also the third boss that currently is not skippable. This one's definitely one of the trickier bosses. Um, definitely just want to make sure you're dodging well and that you're not wasting any ammo. If you do run out of ammo, again, there is an ammo box and you can use the genetic powers if you need to. Just don't run out of genetic powers or you'll be locked out of playing as werewolf um, until you get more. Though it, it wouldn't be too big of a time loss. There is some... VPD right near the beginning of level 5. So it'd just be a bit of movement time you would lose. Now you do need to restock for level 5. But I think it's faster to do it in level 5. You don't need the ammo until that very end of level 5. You could restock somewhere over here. But I wouldn't bother with it. And I would just wait to restock in level 5. And all we're going to do left is just walk to the end of the level which is right there so yeah level four with that whole laser pig lot room it used to be one of the most annoying levels i would say it was probably my second least favorite level in the game but with the skip where you jump around it and you skip three of the six boss fights i actually think it's probably one of my favorites just because of how convoluted it is and if you could ever skip if we could ever find a way to skip those three boss fights we can't skip right now, it would be one of the better levels in the game. It might even rival level 7 at that point because there'd just be so many more skips than level 7 has. But yeah, that is how you do level 4 fast.